Hey, if you guys want to find out why Molly Ringwald isn't the only thing that can be pretty in pink, you should stay tuned. Okay, Boomer. So if you're wondering why we have a pink PC here and a black PC, it's because uh, we're marking the occasion. And what is that occasion, David? As everyone knows, the occasion is Barbieheimer. What is Barbieheimer? It is the Barbie movie and the movie Oppenheimer coming out on the same day, July 21st. I sure hope this movie has a flock of geeselings. It's Gosling. Hello, YouTube. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are AVA Direct Custom Computers, a leading systems integrator with over 10,000 different part selections, which allow us to build you these pretty pink PCs that you see here in front of you. I'm Joe. I'm the sales manager for AVA Direct. And I'm David. I'm a level three technician. Yes, you are. The best level three technician, in my opinion. It's not even close. Uh, this system is on our AVA rigs because we offer a series of different PCs known as the Blissful PC configurations. All of the colorful pastel colors you can think of, we offer in different forms of uh, cases and form factors, and they're uh, really unique. Let's talk <laughs> specs. Let's actually talk about how this is let's, a decently high-end system. Let's talk about what's in the PC, right? That's probably a good idea. So it's got a Gigabyte B760M Aorus Elite board in it, which does support um, AX wireless, hence the AX acronym behind the board. It also has video output, but that's not going to work in this particular instance because it's got a 13700 KF. For those of you that don't know, KF CPUs do not have integrated graphics. It is purely CPU cores, nothing more and nothing less. Um, but you know, it kind of helps if you're on a budget, I suppose, but me personally, and we can talk about this in the cons more elaborately, it may be useful for you to have an integrated CPU option uh, in some instances. It's got an RTX 4070 Ti graphics card powered by Asus. It's got a Kingston 32 gigabyte uh, kit of Fury Beast memory clocked at 5600 megahertz, which is stable. Yeah, stable. Bone stable. Bone stable. An EVJ 850 watt P5 platinum rated power supply. It's got Corsair IQ, fans all throughout, as you can see, emitting pretty little colors. It has the Corsair H100i Elite Capilex XT liquid cooler in white, which is a really nice offset and contrast to all the colors inside the, the system, in my opinion. It's got a Kingston 2 terabyte Fury Renegade NVMe SSD, blazing fast and reliable. Thank you, Kingston. This is a pretty decent high-end PC. 4070 Ti, 13th Gen i7. This is yeah. This is a very well-built PC, very well-rounded, if I might say. Can't really complain there. They also bought a 4K monitor with it, so that's nice. I see that in the list. And they get a free copy of Diablo 4, which I've heard that game's only worth playing if it's free. <laughs> <laughs> so now on to the pros and cons. David, you had a really good pro that you were bringing up earlier. Yeah, the, uh, this configurator, it's very easy to build a fantastic looking PC, uh, color coordinated, but that doesn't mean you can't build a fast PC. I mean, 4070 Ti, 13th Gen i7. I mean, this is going to play basically every AAA title at very high settings. Yeah, 4K monitors is very excellently paired with the 4070 Ti. Shouldn't really have a whole lot of problems playing anything on it unless the game is coded like poo. But that's, as David was saying, it's a very well built PC. And um, a 4070 Ti is going to be, be able to handle anything they have to throw at it. I would say an additional pro is the Corsair cooler that was picked to be used in this. I think you said originally we had a thermal take cooler, actually ran into issues with it, and ended up swapping the customer over to a Corsair cooler because, well, you kind of get a bad taste in your mouth after you have a product fail on you that shouldn't in production. So oftentimes, as a testament to the quality of the systems we build, we'll do whatever it takes really to make sure that you get a good end product. I love the Corsair cooler. Me too. I, the Capellix coolers look fantastic. They have really even lighting. Mm -hmm. um, the white is very clean white. A lot of the time you'll see like uh, things that are painted almost look like off white. Sure. Very nice. Yeah, the performance gain with Corsair coolers compared to competitor options is, is pretty good too. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, I can't really think of anything else in terms of pros. There's really just there's everything to like about the PC. So it's hard to kind of pick one thing, I suppose. Now, as far as the cons go, the only two things I can think of is, you know, there's no sleeve cables in the build, which if you wanted to add anything additional to it. But to be fair, like we do such great wire management on these systems. The really like the sleeve not having sleeve cables isn't going to draw too much attention to it because there's certain ways people complete wire management to where those sleeve cables will make a huge difference because they're going to be everywhere and they're going to be seen. Our cable management is very rarely seen unless 
you can't help it like the 12 pin high power cable you can't no, hide that you can really. about that yeah but it still looks good you know and then you know my only other gripe about the system is they did select a cpu that did not have integrated graphics and that would come in very handy for you in instances where if you have like a graphics card fail and you're waiting on it to get replaced having an onboard option in those times will give you something to work with in the meantime so you're not completely down so anytime i work with people and i see that they quote those those non-integrated cpus if they're pairing it with a board that also has output options i will bring that up like hey for the extra 30 bucks is it worth it to you to have some sort of redundancy in place should your gpu fail you know leave the decision up to the customer and we'll give a shout out to the tech that built the pc as well which is none other than alex waisaki he's built tons of stuff for us that we've seen here in aviator Rigs before and he always does an incredible job uh proud of the work that he does and uh, that's that's gonna conclude today's video so i want to thank everybody for spending time with us today to find out about the i guess the new launch of our updated blissful pink gaming pc systems you can check us out at aviadirect.com you can subscribe to our Discord. Make sure that you like and subscribe to all of our social media channels for updates on any other news. And uh, let us know if you would do anything different with this PC down in the comments, or if there's a particular color that you'd like to see us have that we don't already see offered. Thanks again, guys and ladies, and you have a nice day. If you like the PC in the video, be sure to contact our sales team by emailing sales at aviadrock.com or head to the website by clicking the link within the description below. You can choose from many pre-built options, gaming or workstation based, or use the configurator to build the PC of your dreams. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so you can be notified of future content and give the video a like in support of our channel. You can follow the variety of our social media channels by visiting aviadirect.com forward slash community. And you can also join our discord if you wish to engage in discussions related to custom built PCs.